does. You want to have a look inside? We've got a rubber belt. Oh. And down at the bottom, there's a little aluminium um, piece. And the belt moves around. At the bottom, it rubs electrons off the aluminium down the bottom. So we keep supplying electrons to it. Carries them up to the top. And then it's put onto the, um, it's called a brush, but it's just a piece of aluminium at the top. That then allows the electrons to run out onto the metal casing and onto the metal dome. So because electrons are negatively charged, and because we've got lots of them, like charges want to repel and get as far away as possible, this means that they will cover the outside of the dome, because that's one way of getting as far away as possible. They can move around freely because it's metal, and metal allows charges to move. So we've now got a dome covered with electrons that are trying to get away. If I then allow them to jump to something, um, which is grounded, goes to Earth, then the electrons may bridge that air gap and escape. So let's see if we can get it to work. Make sure that the wand stays between me and the Van de Graaff generator, which means I probably should be on the other side, but never mind. I can feel the hairs on the back of my hand standing up because um, of the static electricity that's in the air. And if we get in... We should be able to get a spark. Famous last words, no spark. <laughs> oh, going great guns now. You had enough? <laughs> okay, we can use this to demonstrate electric fields just by using some tissue paper. and I'll screw it up. In the old days, they used to allow you to um, they used to allow you to actually touch this. But nowadays, with all the OCK health and safety problems, you're not allowed to touch it. So you would stand there with all your hair brushed out, and it would just stand up on end. But we're not allowed to do that anymore. So I'd turn it off, do it again. You ready? So what's going on here? Our electrons that were on the silver dome, still a lot there, but some of them have got onto the tissue paper as well, and they're still trying to get as far away from each other as possible. So they're making the tissue paper stand up and spread out as much as they can. You could say that these are electric field lines. An electric field line is the direction a charged particle will take if it is in an electric field. We've talked about gravitational and magnetic fields before. This is an area surrounding a charged body, which if you put another charged body in there, it will um, try and move, or it will be forced to move. And as I bring the earthed wand close to it, the electrons are trying to get away to that earth one. So they're directing their charge in that direction and now they're being earth. So we have a flow of electrons down through the earth wand. Remove the earth wand and they'll all stand up again and get as far away from each other as possible. Discharge it and they drop down. If you've got a piece of tissue paper that's free to move, then it will go and move towards it first of all, and then once it's picked up enough charge, it will be repelled, and it'll jump back to me. Hang on, if I get a smaller piece of tissue paper, we should be able to watch them jump backwards and forwards. So first of all, it goes over there and picks up a charge, and then when it's got too much charge, it jumps back over to the wand and discharges it, and now it's not got enough charge, and it's attracted over to the other side, and keeps going backwards and forwards. So we have a... I'm going to make sure I don't get my fingers in the way. Press. 
Perhaps another way to demonstrate the electrostatic field is to make a bit of a mess. With some packing beads. in a cup which has got a metal plug in it so we can pop that on there. These will, the static charge will go from here to the cup, to the beads inside the cup. And then they'll come out the top like Christmas. So the beads charge up, not got a negative charge. They want to get away from each other. They jump out the top following the electric field lines and then gravity takes over and pulls them down. <laughs>